Good morning everyone! Welcome back! So today we are going to have a devotion and I was not going to go without. So if you are new to my videos or my channel, my name is Ariana and I love to do devotions and mini Bible studies every day. I have been a little absent for the past few days, um, mommy priorities, uh, but I am back for today, so I'm just going to get into the word. Please feel free to let me know how you're doing, and I hope this helps you in some way. And praise Jesus for another day. He has blessed us with another day. I almost wanted to open the window right now. So it says, um, Grow strong in the light of my presence as my face shines upon you. You receive nutrients that enhance your growth in grace. I design you to commune with me face to face, and this interaction strengthens your soul. Such communion provides a tiny glimpse of what awaits you in heaven, where all barriers between you and uh, where all barriers between you and my glory will be mo removed. This meditative Mo uh, time with my blesses me blesses you doubly <laughs> I got morning brain okay you experience my presence here and now and you are refreshed by the hope of heaven where you will know me in ecstatic joy then we have some scripture and first it'll be Psalms 4 6 9 Okay. Um, it says, "There are many way, er, many who say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your continuous upon us, or countenance upon us. You have put gladness." in my heart more than in the seasons that are gr that grain and wine increased i will both lie down in peace and sleep for you alone o lord make me dwell in safety that's under the safety of the faithful so i will be reading all of that and i encourage you to do the same sometimes i read these like three times a day so uh, don't ever hesitate to revisit. And we'll go to Revelations 21-23, which this one I thought was quite interesting. And I'll try and um, kind of break through it with you. So, it's underneath the glory of the New Jerusalem. And I'll start at 22 says, But I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The city had no need of the sun or of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God illuminated it. The Lamb is its light. And the nation of those who are saved shall walk in its light. And the kings of the earth bring their glory and honor it. Its gates shall not be shut at all by day. There shall be no night there, and there shall bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it. But there shall be no means enter it anything that defiles or causes any abruption or a, a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. So, to break this down very easily, make it simple, this is talking about going to heaven and how it's not going to be like night and day. Um, it is where God makes everything perfect, and only through Jesus do we go there. So, only the ones in the Lamb's Book of Life. Um, 
And it may have a sun and a moon because it says it has a sun and a moon to shine in it. And obviously heaven does not need that, but it says that there is. So, interesting. But um, its gates will be shut at all by day, or shall not be shut all by day. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you. Um, but this is in Revelations. So, again, that one I'm going to have to study. But it's very interesting. And it just is basically talking about how Jesus is the light, and we can only go through them through him to get to heaven. So, one more devotion. I've been so frazzled brain, so if you are a mom out there, <laughs> are you with me? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so this one was really um, empowering, I guess you'd say. It says, good news or of great joy. It says, may the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. Who touches the mountains and they smoke. That's Psalms 104, 31 through 32. It says, the earth makes God happy. He enjoys his creations. He enjoys the way that a seed falls to the ground and dies. He especially enjoys the way it lives again. That part reminds him of something very good. He enjoys the way wine makes you happy and the way oil makes your skin shine. He enjoys the way that the earth continues to fear him. The earth trembles at the glance and the mountains smoke at his touch. Isn't that incredible? The God that terrifies the earth every day is your God. Consider his power throughout the day. Consider the many ways in which his power is seen in the force of nature. Considering how that power is at work in sustaining you and saving you. So although there's all this chaos going in the world, I also want to remind you guys that not every natural disaster is from God. We have to remember that Jesus was on the boat asleep and his disciples woke him up fearing this unknown storm. And God or Jesus would not have rebuked the storm if it wasn't for from his fa if it was from his father. So we have to remember that the enemy tries to destroy things as well. So, but we have to remember the wind, the wind of, of the power of the Lord and his, like the sunshine on us and his nature, um, the beauty of hearing the birds and hearing the crickets, um, wherever, whatever time it is, um, watching the clouds move there's just so much that is god i mean it's all gods so remember that he's sustaining you he's breathing life into you daily um, and it's just a beautiful thing and before i go forward i will just read just a little bit of yesterday's um it says how countless are your works, Lord. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. And that's Psalms 104, 24. It says, did you miss it? The Lord put on a show of his glory throughout your day and his countless works. The dust throughout the sunbeams through the windows remind us of the short duration of our lives and how we came, we came from dust, and to dust we will return. The dog in the yard, eating all the things that he should not eat, warns us of the ten tendency to return to the same sins again and again. The betta fish in the glass bowl reminds us of the dietary laws set aside by Christ in favor of fellowship around the table at which he is the host. Creation, this creation, every bit of it is preaching to us. So I wanted to revisit that today and share that in today's devotion because it really is so parallel and 
comes together with this one so good. So I think that's a really good message to share. And I hope it helps you. So now we're going on to the prayer of the day. It says, Almighty God, thank you for the revelation of your joy in the created world. We find comfort in knowing you this way as we stand in awe of your mighty power. Gracious Father, you have not terrified me with your mighty power, but you have been gracious to me in Christ. You have not treated me as my sins deserve, and this gives me more joy than I could ever imagine. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the greatest, and oh, I'm sorry, this is the, um, the question of the day. It says, what is the greatest display of earthly power you have ever seen? How does it encourage you to know that God's grace toward you is even more powerful? So my friends, I hope that gives you um, some clarity, some joy, and a little bit of light in your little world, wherever you're at, and knowing that we really do just come from dust and we return to dust, my friends. So whatever is going on in your life, whatever trials or situations you may be encountering, know that it is only a moment in time and God is forever with us and he's continuing to work things out and the closer we get to him, the easier it will be. So I love you and I'm so glad you were able to join me today. It's been a blessing. I hope this got you off to a great start. I would love your feedback or feel free to share to someone who's in need. And I will talk to you again soon. All right, God bless and take care.